Hello you! How are you doing today? I hope you had a good day so far. Today we are going to be playing some more of Stonehearth and I got a lot of nice suggestions from guys from the previous video. So we're doing a fort over here, right? So we're building this one. And one suggestion was to add some cannons to our fort over here and I think I might do so afterwards and we can maybe add them to some walls or something like that. Or we can add a little addition with some cannons on it for protecting the fort. And another one was by Danny, one of the ace guys of the ace mod, which was to mine away two thirds of the mountain, which is a big, big task, but maybe we got some skilled dwarves and colony that could mine out some precious minerals and a lot of the mountain forests. So then we would be chopping this down, probably down to around here, right? Or even lower, maybe even lower, maybe down here. And then we might put the clock tower on top. That can be pretty cool, so I do like some cool suggestions from you guys like that, it's really nice to get some of those. But it's gonna be a lot of work, so if we're gonna do that, we better get started. With that idea of having the clock tower up there, and part of the village up there on the plateau as well, I kinda want to maybe even throw up the castle somewhere around there. I feel like that could be pretty cool. So let's start with chopping down the tree and some stones up there, and let's make sure we add a few more ladders so we can get up here. And then we do another one over here. We gotta be careful though that we do this step by step, because if we do too fast, we might run into a situation where I, our people can't be mining out, so let's just start like one layer at a time while doing this. So if we start something like this, it should be pretty fine. Another thing we can do so we don't forget it is to add a couple of natural stairs around. But let's just start basic like this. And what we will do with the stone, we might be using a bit of it, but we are also going to be selling and trading it. And hopefully it won't take forever, and uh, let's assign some people that can be our miners. So let's go down here, we'll make sure we have a few people that focuses on that, so we can have, uh, maybe our soldiers can focus a little bit on mining for now. Let's go like that, maybe, yeah, let's have like five people focus on mining. And maybe these soldiers will not be building, they will be hauling things. Hauling is needed when you're gonna make some ladders as well. So this way we should have a pretty good force to be up here in mining. We already got uh, Carlos up here, a local bunny hero. Mining like crazy for us, it's gonna be awesome. I think it might go pretty quick as we speed it up, giving some energy potions and... It's gonna take a while, but we're gonna do it, right? And like I was about to say before, we can also do some natural stairs, to be sure we can get away from here. But since we have a ladder that goes from down here up here, we can access it from up here or down here. So we should be fine with mining this way as well. But it is kind of important to only take like, like this, like start from up and then keep going down when you're gonna mine away the mountain. And I have never ever mined away a mountain like this, ever. So it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how it's gonna work and... How it's gonna look after, but I think it's gonna be interesting. And who knows, maybe we can have the mountain in different plateaus. We can have one that's a little bit lower than other ones, and we can have one that's a little bit taller than another one. And we can design around it. But it's gonna be a big, big task, and I guess we can already start around here as well. But maybe we get this down first, and then we start with the levels as we progress down towards... Yeah, the bottom, I guess. We got a Traveler. Hello, Traveler! J. Coman, thank you. We got some fences. Thank you, thank you. I do wonder if we should have even more miners. We do have the ladders now, so I'm actually gonna go maybe for them for also to do only mining. And let's see, maybe we can sell perhaps the stone that we still have. And I did actually, by the way, I designed my own tree over here. So instead of planting like a birch tree, I actually made my very own tree over here. This can be so nice. A member of the Guild of Rangers is passing by selling forging goods. I'm not sure if you need to buy anything, but I want to show you guys a thing that um, was from the previous episode where I said there was only one kind of bitter yellow herb, which isn't really true. So with our herbalist, we can... I have done it before with this one, but I just forgot about it. We can actually make a dry algae. So we can dry that up and um, use that as bitter herbs pretty much. So this one, dry and presses thin sheets of algae that can be used as yellow bitter herb. So this is another way. 
So we can both get the lily pants, the yellow ones, and we can also get these down here. It doesn't matter which color we get for, and I think we have them all out to harvesting maybe. There's a lot of them down here at least. The red ones, some brown ones, and uh, I wonder if we should maybe add a little ladder down here. I'm not sure if we out to harvest them because I don't think you can re-harvest these. But I definitely could be wrong about that. Let's go and gather those. We also should work a little bit on canal soon as well. Like we have this made, but we should continue this one. And um, I think here it would be nice to color that with a green color down here as well. Like we could fill it in. It might be a little bit troublesome perhaps to build it. We can wait a little bit with that, but I may want to do that later on. And down here we can continue this, I guess. We can do a few little tweaks and... It's not sure that we'll be able to build this because of the height we got down here. It's not sure that we'll be able to place the blocks, but we can at least give it a try. That's the best we can do. Do it like that, and we can also add a little bit of variation to the color. Make it look a little bit more interesting. Let's see if this works. Okay, so the reason most likely is these blocks under here. They only have two in height under here. I think if I do remove that and that. Okay, it didn't work anyway, okay. Let's wait until the red goes away then. Okay, let's give this a try. Maybe these are causing issues as well. Let's see. I think it's these two. So let's try that as well. I could do that one too. And then let's try this one. This one probably will fail. Hmm, actually it didn't fail. Okay, let's see what happens with that. I wonder if I can change the color under there though. Let's give it a go. If we take this one again, destroy that, yep. Then we can go back and grab that color. Make a little row like so. We go, and then we add back down here again. But I think we have to wait with it, so let's wait a bit with it. And let's make sure maybe we need a little ladder to get down there. But we definitely want to continue what we have done there, right? But I feel like my people are so busy. I'm just giving them more work, guys. They're so busy with the fort. The up here mining the mountains. My people are so productive at the moment. They're doing a lot of good things at the moment. And I was going to see if we can sell a bit of stone because we have so much. And what we can do is to save a little bit of work and so on, guys. Is to add a big chest up here and we can set up the store like minerals. And we can also have it to store like stone. So they can easily deliver that instead of running up and down the ladders all the time. That's not going to be very good for their bodies going doing that all the time, right? So let me see if I have some good storage containers. It uh, do not look like I do have that. But what we can do is to take maybe our blacksmith and we can make one of those big, big chests to store items in like this one. We need some steel for that. Let's see if we can make a couple of those. These can hold the... 256 items and let's see iron ingot we have only one we're really low in iron let's see if we get some on this one and then we're gonna keep selling some stone as we get stone because we're never gonna need all that stone and if you want we can keep only the high quality stone to mine from the mountain and sell everything else oh we got some invaders let's check it out you know well since we had some invaders this is a bomb dull brain and who's in the back here Oh, that's an ostrich. Hello, how you doing? And here's some more well We have Ogul Osuk. Kendall Bronzefinger. Who do we got? Deacon, Snuffs, and Kick. Okay, let's get ready. Let's get our soldiers. Enable everything again. At least their jobs so that can protect us. I wonder where they're going. We're gonna see if we can meet them by the bridge. But look how defended we are here. So many turrets. So we're gonna make a run for this one. And we can also pop some uh, buffs, half pad tonic, to be even more prepared for battle. The turrets are raining down arrows at them. And here it comes, is that Banto? Banto the Unsurper is coming. Usurper, I mean. What do that actually mean? What, what gave that one? I think I never had that one. Kill 10 enemy leaders, chaos is in the ranks. Oh wow. I think I never had that title, that's cool. Uh, let's make sure we attack this guy. And who do I got with me? Banto, together with is that Jonathan, and here we got Misuru, and here we got Evergreen. 
Where's my arches? Where's my bunnies? My little bunny people. There they are. We got them. The hops a lot. And we also got Carlos up here. Together with my two other arches. It's going pretty good. But they are splitting up a bit. Let's focus on this guy. Red kill the banner shred. I think this one might be worth a lot. It's a purple colored banner, so it might be worth a little bit more than your usual banners. So that went pretty good, I would say. And uh, here's our chestnut tree, which I wonder if I did put it correctly or not. If it uh, doesn't grow soon, we have to move it uh, probably down to this corner. And I feel like this area is kind of missing something. I don't know exactly what it is. But it feels like it's missing something. It could maybe only be benches. We do have some there. We could have market stalls there, but I don't even know if that is what is actually missing there. Maybe there's some lights in the middle missing. Maybe. It feels like something is missing. Okay, what are you guys doing over here? Anthony, what are you doing swimming around? Okay, let's disable job for them again so they can help around town with other things. And I'm gonna have maybe a few more people help with building, so we make sure we get that building done, right? Because when they are done with this one, they can move on to helping even more with mining. So we're just gonna wait until we get that one done. I think we should maybe have one, maybe. We have to get more iron, pretty much. Let's see if we can get a good immersion. We do have some iron ore in the mountain, though. We could mine it out if we want to. There's some over here. We can use the X-ray vision to look through to see where we have mined before, and there are probably going to be some more if we keep going this way. Let's do it like that. That should reward us with a few more iron ore. It's going to be good. You know, something that would be cool, guys, when you get late in the game, if you could like put out an explosive and blow up stuff like with with the engineer, like that could be an on the thing with any near or, or if they can make like a big drill that drills away like blocks faster or more blocks at a time. That would be interesting for any near to be able to do those. And maybe he would be the one using those things. That could be pretty cool. I think we're missing some fireplaces in our houses by the way. Let's see. Yeah, no fireplace in this one. We could add that to make it even more cozy, right? So let's cozify with a masterpiece fireplace. Look at that. And I think we may be missing it in more buildings. Let's see. Smoke, smoke, smoke. These are smoking. These as well. How's the tavern doing? Did we... Maybe never added a chimney. Or maybe we forgot to add it in this one. Oh yeah. This one is supposed to have a larger one. I don't think we have that ready. We can put one of these as a decoration here if we want to. Or maybe out here in the hallway, perhaps. Nah, maybe in between here. There is going to be a good spot for it. Okay, let's make some larger fireplaces. We have a lot of stone now, as you saw. And if you want to get fireplaces, you have to get the mod um, Nordling Kingdom that adds um, fireplaces to the game to so have the cozy smoke coming up from them. And our Mesa isn't busy with anything for now, so it's a good idea to be doing this. And perhaps we could do... Let's do a couple of these, maybe? And if you want, we can also make more of these like monuments, I guess you could call it. Like the Valor of Sin to decorate around with. We do have one out here. But we can make these as well for some decorative purposes. Or stone fountain if you want to. These look pretty beautiful as well. Uh, but we can also make like golem blocks. If you want to do that. And we also do have the porcelain. Uh, we also do have the marble fountain and other objects. Like this one, the marble chest. Steel ingot. Okay, we... I'm not going to do that now, that's very expensive. It would be fun to do a Roman town sometime again. I did that a long, long time ago. And it was pretty interesting, very different architecture, and uh, it was really fun. We made like a bathhouse and a couple of houses. A long, long time ago. 
Why don't you give us some fireplaces? They may be ready pretty soon. But until then, let's check around with our other buildings. Yeah, this one got some smoke. Smoke and this, smoke and that. This one is missing smoke and I think also furniture. And there is a staircase here just hiding. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, add a little fireplace. If you look at like this, we should be able to see it. There we go. So let's get another masterwork quality item. There we go. And uh, let's throw in some beds in this room as well. I wish there were a search function here. It would be so nice instead of you know going around like this. It would be so lovely to have one. I love search functions. So useful like in Windows. You can search whatever you want to find and find it so quickly. So furniture, we're looking for beds. Here we have some high quality ones. And this one, I'm gonna go for an yellow one. And let's have maybe one over there. And maybe one next to it over here. We have a little bit of distance over there and perhaps we can have a little dresser in the corner. Keep over there. And perhaps we can put some decoration on the wall if you had anything fun to put there. We do have some rugs that we can put out. Maybe we can have some rugs next to the beds or under them. Like something like that maybe. Another one over in this one. And the higher the quality you got here, the more fancy it's gonna be. And people love fancy things. One's gonna be yellow and one's gonna be blue. So I guess that's gonna work out. They got what colors were around. So they wasn't able to choose what they wanted. Or maybe they wanted a blue and a yellow, who knows. And perhaps we can put a teapot. Okay, we can't have that on the dresser. Maybe they want some tea in the night, who knows. We could throw like a banner hanging here, can be interesting. But I will wait with that because I might be using that on my fort. A berry riff, that could be nice. And decorate around with that one, a bit between here. Let's see, maybe outside the door maybe even. This town did start during the last winter, last year, 2020. So maybe we can hang that on the outside, that can be fun. And we do have one more over there. That's gonna be beautiful. And perhaps we can throw a little rug on the entrance as well. And down here, I guess we can do some tables and chairs. Ooh, look at that, table for one. Of a really high quality. Let's maybe put, can we have two of them like next to each other maybe? Like so. And a couple of shares. They are pretty small these tables, but you know, I'm gonna make them shared. So two people can use one table. I feel like it do look like it definitely could be possible for sure. I mean, if you go to a restaurant, you might have a table like that. Ooh, maybe they can have some games, some go table. Be gaming. Let's just see where the staircase is. Exactly. Okay, in that corner. So they could have it like at that side. So maybe have it there then. And then we need to have some kind of chairs. Perhaps we'll do one in a crate chair. And we can do a simple wooden stool at the other side. So they kind of got whatever seats they had around that you can sit in. Because maybe these people aren't that rich as maybe a few other people are in town, but uh, they're still living their life and having a good time. And let me see the staircase again, how it actually went at the side over here. I was thinking of having like a bookcase over there. Maybe we can have that upstairs if there's enough space for it. Ah, uh, probably not. Yeah, let's just skip that. And this one is really, really cozy. Like, look inside this one. You got some good food, but they can probably have some more than, like decorations on the walls, right? Maybe a little wolf rug they could have. It feels like that should be next to the fire, maybe. Maybe they can have a little Knut statue. It's pretty big, though. But maybe they could have that. And some beautiful flowers. That's gonna be good. Okay, let's see. Do we have the fireplace ready now? The big one. Can't find it. Yeah, I don't think they crafted it yet, then. 
It should be crafted though, or did I make small ones? Maybe I made a mistake. I'm pretty sure I made a small one though, a little bit, the big one I mean. Are they maybe in the wrong category? Oh, here it is, I probably just missed it. Okay, the tavern is finally getting hit. Cozy smoke inside. That's gonna be awesome. I feel like we can add some more, maybe some rugs in this house. A tavern. Maybe some more decoration. It feels a little bit empty. Maybe some dressers. I thought we had dresses here, but I had some ornated dresses that would work perfectly in this one. So we could put them at the very end here if we want to. Let's do that. It's really, really fancy in this uh, tavern. Another one over there. There's gonna be real high aesthetics here. It feels like it's missing some rags in the middle though. I feel so. So let's see if we can go for... I feel like yellow works pretty good over there. There we go, that's gonna be great. Maybe they can have a little present next to the bed. When they wake up, after sleeping, someone has to be delivered some presents. Maybe Santa or someone else, who knows. Maybe Banto. Could have been me. I need a horrendous statue. That would also be nice to have somewhere in town. Pretty big goblin statue. Maybe he could be sitting here. He can't go in the middle though. But I feel like he should have a little place as well. The friendly goblin that wanna visit us, they should be welcome as well. Everyone who is friendly is welcome to be in the Bentonian Vale, right? Okay, now we're gonna see if we can find some merchant that sells some iron ore. Here we go, they're even selling steel ingot. I'm gonna buy that. I have so much gold, so we're just gonna buy it. But we can also buy some more. I thought that, I think I bought silver first. Animal trainer? Oh, we can get some more animals. I'm gonna buy an, uh, a cougar. And you guys can name our cougar later on. And two foxes, why not? Feel free to name our foxes and our cougar, guys. There we go. Let's speed our people up a bit and see how the mountain is going. And I think I may do this mining a little bit off the, the videos, just so you guys can see the progress a little bit faster. But what do you guys think about it? Having a clock tower up here, maybe lower the mountain to somewhere around here. Then maybe have a little bit of a higher point, maybe where we have like a castle. Kind of centered, or maybe in the corner. A corner one could be pretty interesting. The castle could be also like down here, and then it goes up on the plateau, and uh, to the next one as well, so it could be on two or three different places, pretty much. Let me know what you guys think about it, and I will be considering what you guys got for IDs, as always. But I think we're gonna do that mostly off-stream. But guys, thanks for checking out today's video with Stoneheart. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm really, really looking forward to expand this town. It's not running very good on my computer nowadays, but I feel like I, I want to make Bantonia Vale our biggest town so far, and I think it already might be. But guys, have a great time, and if you enjoyed, feel free to like the video. And I hope you can have a great day, and I also want to thank my members here on YouTube as well. It's a way that you can join a channel and support uh, your channel, your creator, once a month with an uh, membership payment, if you wish to do so. But you don't have to, of course, of course not. So guys, thanks for watching, I hope you guys had a good time, and I shall see you guys next time. Take care everyone.